So today, um, I'm gonna do a little DIY video for you guys. It's basically just a little maintenance video for my car. About a couple months ago now, we started getting a uh, squeaking coming from the tensioner pulley down in my, I don't know if you guys can actually see it, but it's, it's right down there. And uh, we think it's just a, like a little bearing in there that's kind of like starting to seize up. Um, nothing's really bad right now. My belt's not burnt or anything. Um, but yeah, I'm basically going to be uh, replacing the tensioner pulley today. And we're also going to be replacing the serpentine belt. So pretty much the first thing we, we're going to have to do is actually loosen the uh, tensioner pulley and, you know, take the belt off. So I'll basically just run run through the entire video with you guys, show you guys everything that you would need to do if you have a 2005 to a 2009 um, V6 Mustang and you had to do this uh, to your car. Now, basically, when you're removing the belt, uh, removing the belt is like the first step in taking any of these pulleys out. So if you wanted to replace your alternator, um, I, I think the power steering pulleys in there as well. But basically, if you were to replace any of the pulleys, uh, the first step um, in doing that is taking off the belt. So that's the first thing I'm going to do, and I'm, I'll basically just show you guys once it's off. To, uh, taking off the belt and replacing the pulley, I did just want to show you guys the new one. And I did just want to show you guys the new uh, serpentine belt that's actually going on the car. Now again, these are just OEM parts uh, for this specific car. But it is a good thing that I'm basically doing this now before the current pulley that's on it actually seizes. Because once that happens, eventually the belt can start to wear. And then the lo longer and longer a belt wears, um, the more probability it can actually snap once it snaps. A lot of uh, multiple things are going to fail in your car, um, power steering, your water pump, uh, alternator, uh, and, and the engine is, will still go because the crank will still turn, but your engine is probably going to overheat and it, it can ultimately like result in catastrophic failure for your engine. So yeah, that being said, um, the next clip I'm basically just going to show you guys um, how it is with the belt actually off and then we'll go from there or off your belt or replacing your belt, um, your car would actually come with a diagram. But I just kind of like looked at it and looked at all the pulleys and I, we basically just kind of drew up this like little diagram here. Now, the little circles represent the pulley and the line going around and like inside and cutting around all of them, it uh, represents the belt. Now, it's important to do this when taking off your belt or replacing your belt, because when you put it on, you want to make sure that it's on correctly um, if you're not going to draw a diagram, make sure you go up to the car, you take pictures from this angle, from below. Um, it's actually kind of hard to like take pictures all the way down. So I actually just suggest just drawing a diagram, kind of like what I did right here, because it gives you a perfect, um, it gives you a perfect description of what you should do when putting on your new belt. And, you know, it, it basically just eliminates a lot of it basically just eliminates any room for air. All right guys, so now I actually have a 3 8, uh, 3 8 a ratchet um, down there and you can also use a 3 8 breaker bar, but you can see I kind of put a pipe over the ratchet and if you just, if you go like that, it twists the, um, it loosens the tensioner pulley and you can literally, it just eases the tension off the belt and you can kind of just, you just gotta be careful not to burn yourself because there's a lot of, hot engine parts in here but yeah the belt basically just slips right off now so again it's pretty easy it's a pretty straight th uh, flow through process it's not it doesn't require much but you just got to make sure that you're using the right tools or kind of like the right setup now obviously this is not you know a specific like breaker bar or specific tool but the thing is you do have to make sure that you have the right size ratchet or whatever you're putting inside of it to loosen it up and then once it's loose, you can kind of, the entire belt can just fall off. All right guys, so now I actually have the old belt off and the new belt in front of me as well. And this is actually the old belt. Now again, this isn't in terrible condition, but you can actually really see um, it start, it's starting to wear. And I'm gonna basically, I'm gonna set you guys up on a tripod and show you guys the, you know, actual difference between the two. But just looking at it here, like look at that, and then look at the new belt. The new belt's a lot more meaty. 
and it actually I know you guys can't feel the difference but if you're replacing your belt at home or whatever a new belt a brand new belt feels like rubber now they're both rubber but this feels kind of more rubbery whereas the older belt the belt that's actually worn out a little bit it feels kind of like more like plastic because it's, it's been getting like heated up so much so yeah I'm basically doing this just because we're replacing the pulley because the pulley is squeaking so the belts the, the this belt actually isn't that bad but I'm pretty sure we never actually replaced it and I've almost had uh, my car for like three years now so it's just a cheap part that is better to be replaced and <clears throat> better to be brand new than slightly worn all right guys so I actually have both of the belts uh, right in front of me now and I did just want to kind of show you guys close up the difference between the two now this is the old one when I bend it first of all it's a lot more easier to bend and when you bend it you can actually see kind of very tiny um, stress cracks in it just from being used now I don't know if you guys can actually see that because of the lighting but when you bend first of all when you bend the newer one it's a lot here let's put the older one to the side when you bend the newer one it's a lot harder to bend you can see it's only kind of like half bending with both of my hands you know trying to bend it now I could bend it if more if I want to but it's brand new so I don't want to do that and again there's no cracks in it there's no um, like di di like differences as you go like along the belt basically the entire belt is uniform and it's it's got a lot of meat on it so that's a very good thing for you know just putting in your car and when you buy replacement belts just double check them and make sure that they're you know good for your vehicle all right guys so i know i didn't show it but now i actually have the old tensioner pulley out now this little bolt um in here uh i'm pretty sure yeah we're, we're probably gonna reuse it and it's basically it's just a 13 millimeter bolt you can also use a six point half inch socket for it but i just found that the 13 um, millimeter socket actually works better now when you take this out you obviously you just got to be careful you don't want to lose this because like i just said you are going to have to reuse that and but yeah now the now the pulley is actually out and now we just have to put this one back in this is going to have to be um torqued down to actually a 35 um foot pounds if you you need a torque wrench i highly do not suggest that you um, don't like you you don't use a torque wrench on that now so basically um, this is a torque wrench for those that don't know and it basically just I, it, I, it, it's hard to explain it basically just forces you to like kind of torque it down to a certain spec and those specs are very very important when you're dealing with any anything that has to do with your engine um, now that being said there's there's torque specs for like lug nuts there's torque specs for a ton of different things but I would say the when you're dealing with things specifically with your engine or your transmission or stuff like that, I would say that is tremendously a lot more important than um, you know torque specs for like lug nuts. All right, guys. So now the actual um, new uh, tensioner pulley is actually on there, and you can kind of see it all the way from back here. It's like a nice new shiny part compared to the rest, of the you know the rest of the engine. But as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can actually see, but the bolt is actually not torqued down. I'm going to do that off camera. Um, but basically when you're using a torque, torque wrench, uh, once you have it set and it's locked, as you guys can see, I have it set right at 35 uh, foot pounds of torque. Basically you're going to, you know, turn it, turn it, turn it. And then it's kind of going to click up here once you kind of reach the limit now if you're not careful you can actually go past the limit but it is I, I don't know it's hard to explain I'm sure there's many videos out there but this kind of knuckle clicks once you've reached that 30 foot uh, or 35 uh, foot pounds of torque kind of limit that it's set at right now um, but yeah I'm basically just gonna torque that down well actually before before I do that we're gonna put the new belt on which I'm actually gonna do off camera because uh, I'm gonna need def I'm definitely gonna need both my hands for that because that kind of I'm gonna have to snake that through and underneath a lot of pulleys and it's probably gonna be the hardest part of this entire kind of maintenance uh, semi project I guess you could say but uh, yeah I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'm gonna you know torque down the new tensioner pulley and we should be all set we should be good to go 
All right, guys, so now basically everything's on. The belt is all on. Um, the tensioner pulley is back where it's supposed to be, and everything looks good. But another quick tip before I end today's video is when you put a belt on or, you know, a replacement belt or whatever on your uh, vehicle, you want to make sure that you don't just start it off right away because sometimes it might not 100% be all like in all of the grooves correctly. So what we're going to do now is we're basically just going to crank it. All right, go ahead. All right, so see how it's just cranking and moving around. And then now when you start it, yep, when you start it, it, it works, it works completely fine. But I definitely um, suggest just cranking it first because if you just start it up without checking it at all, it can easily just spit the belt right off of it. All right guys, so that's pretty much just gonna wrap up today's video. Um, I hope this was informative for you guys. Anyone who has a 2005 to 2009 uh, v6 mustang um let me know um if this video is good if it was bad let me know what i could do better but uh yeah until the next one see you guys